Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kimber Kelly with Rustic Touch Beauty. I'm a licensed cosmetologist as well as a makeup artist, skincare guru, anything beauty. If it's related to beauty, then you will find it right here on this channel. We got a good one today. This is one of my top most frequently asked questions and I'm answering it today. And it's all about how do I get so much volume within my hair? And let me tell you, it all starts with how you prep your hair. So in this video today, I'm gonna be walking you through step-by-step step how exactly I prep my hair to get the most volume in my hair. I have very thick hair, so to get volume, I have to work extra, extra hard. If you have fine hair, these products will still work incredible for your hair. This is just what I found works best for my thick, thick hair to really get tons and tons of volume. So if that is something you're curious about, then make sure to like this video, tap that bell, subscribe to my channel, and keep watching. Everything I use in this video, I will make sure to link in the description box below. But first things first, I wrap my hair up in a microfiber cloth towel. I love these. I will leave my hair in these for 20 to 30 minutes just to get as much excess water out as possible. After that, when I go to take the towel out, I don't like to go like this with the towel. Never do this with your hair. I talked about this in some of my other hair training videos, but never do this. Instead, you want to kind of pat the towel all around and kind of scrunch up any excess water. The next thing I'm doing is I am applying Kevin Murphy Leave-In Conditioner. It's also a detangler. I love this. I've been using it for a while and it works really great on my hair. Okay, so this part is key. Having the right products in your hair is what's going to help give you volume. You cannot achieve volume by just getting out of the shower, combing it, and calling it good. You have to use products. The next product I'm using is from Surface. This is a hair oil. So this is going to act as a heat protectant when I go to dry it and style it with either a flat iron or a curling iron. But this is going to help give shine to my hair, protect it from any heat, and help the hair strands from any further damage. My holy grail product, you guys. If you do not have a quage uplifting foam, you need to have it in your life. I have tried a ton of root boosts, foams, you name it, I've tried it. And I keep going back to this one every single time because I, I can't find one that I like that works better. It doesn't leave your hair crusty and it gives both fine hair and thick hair incredible volume. So how I apply this is I just go in about one inch sections. And what I like about this product is you can apply it straight to the root, which you might think if you're applying it to the, straight to the root that it's going to get um, kind of crusty, but it doesn't if you do it the way I show you. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply it the same way to the back and make sure I get the crown of my hair. We want to make sure we have volume everywhere around the top, the crown of our hair. After I've applied the leave-in conditioner and the oil, I will go in with a wide tooth comb and just start to comb that product through to dispense it evenly throughout my hair. I highly, highly recommend starting from the bottom of your hair and combing and working that comb up your hair. Don't ever start at the top of your hair and brush straight down. Your hair is most fragile, most vulnerable when it's wet. So you want to be as gentle as possible to minimize any breakage. And to do this, combing from the bottom, combing from your ends and working your way towards the top will be the best way to avoid this. After I have applied the foam, I'm going to go in with that wide tooth comb again and just disperse that all throughout my hair. By doing this, it not only dispenses the product throughout my hair really well, but it'll help also keep it from getting crusty in case I got too much in one spot. By combing it out, it's going to just disperse it evenly so that we avoid any crustiness. <laughs> 
After I've applied all my hair products, it's time to dry. I just have this Conair hair dryer here. Make sure that you do not put it all the way on the hottest setting. I keep mine on warm and I just tell myself slow and steady wins the race. So the cooler the air is, the better, but you don't want it to be cold, okay? So make sure you just keep it right in that medium warm setting. And I like to hold my hair up and kind of hit the roots really quick. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna flip my hair upside down. And this is where you get all the volume from. By drying my hair upside down, I am forcing my hair to go the opposite direction that it wants to lay. So by doing that, once I flip my hair up again, it's going to naturally want to stick up because I had my hair upside down. I rarely will have my head upright when I'm drying my hair. Usually it's always down. Now, one thing with the aquage foam, and I do get asked a lot, is this gonna make my hair crusty? Because volumizers, foams are known to kind of make your hair crusty, and I promise you it will not. I mean, look, look at my hair. There, it's, it's not crusty at all, and I honestly, I can't even feel it in my hair. And the trick that I do, when it starts to get that crusty look and you can kind of see it right here, I stop and I'm gonna take my wet brush. I love my wet brush because it's vented, so it's amazing for hair drying. If you are using a brush while drying your hair, you wanna make sure it's vented so that the air has somewhere to escape through. If you're using just a regular brush, you are going to fry your hair. And so I'll take that wet brush and I use a technique called flat wrapping. So I am just pushing that comb all the way around my hair while hitting it with the hair dryer. I'm kind of brushing all my hair forward because I want, I want it to lay forward. But using that flat wrapping technique, it's going to help get rid of that crustiness. And I like doing this technique halfway through before my hair is completely dry to make sure that I don't get any crustiness at the top of my roots where that foam is. And by doing this, I've never had an issue with having crusty, sticky, hard roots. All right, so after I've done that flat wrapping technique, I'm gonna flip my hair upside down one more time just to make sure all my hair is dry. After that, you guys, look at how much volume I got just from hair drying my hair upside down and using the correct products. One thing I do love about that Kevin Murphy leave-in conditioner is I, and the oil is I feel like it does not weigh my hair down. Like I said, I have thick hair, so the lighter, the better. And this is a fun little trick that not all the time do I do, but I find myself doing this most of the time after I've dried my hair, is I take these amazingly huge <laughs> Velcro rollers from Conair. I found these on Amazon. I'll make sure to link them. And I go ahead and I put these all around just the crown of my head. You wanna make sure when you put these rollers in that you're putting them in pretty quickly after you're done drying your hair while that hair is still warm. You don't want the hair to cool down. And so these first two rollers, I'm actually going to roll towards my face. And then these last rollers on the top here, I kind of go in a mohawk section. These last ones, I am rolling back. But one thing you wanna make sure you do is when you are putting these rollers in that you are holding your hair straight up to the sky. Don't pull your hair out. You wanna make sure you're holding that hair straight up and down. That's where you're gonna get maximum volume. Then I just go through here on the sides, doing the same thing, making sure I'm holding my hair as straight up as possible so that I can maximize my chances of volume. Once I've applied all of my rollers, I believe there's nine of them in a pack, which is really all I need. One thing you wanna make sure of too is you're not taking huge sections. I like to take smaller sections, probably like an inch, inch and a half wide, so that I'm not getting too much hair in those rollers. The less hair, the more volume you're gonna get per section. So once I've put in all those rollers, I will either do my makeup at this point while those rollers are setting and cooling down, or just leave them in for about 15 to 20 minutes. I don't take them out immediately. If you have fine hair, you probably could take them out 
right after you've put them in and you'll get enough volume. But since I have thick hair, I leave those rollers in for about 15 to 20 minutes and kind of let my hair cool down naturally. You can even go in with a hair dryer and hit it with the cool shot setting on there as well. But once I take those out, and a key part in taking these out is you kind of roll once and then you slide the roller out of your hair. If you try to unroll them, it will be painful. <laughs> so I've learned the best ways to initially just kind of pull the roller out and then slide the roller down your hair shaft. And after that, check it out you guys. Look at all that volume, especially right around my face, giving your hair so much volume. I just go in with my favorite dry shampoo right now. This one is from Amika and it's a lighter dry shampoo. So I really love using this one on day one that I've washed my hair and I'll apply it the same way I did the aquage foam where I'm just going in one inch sections all the way down, hitting it at my root. So those are my holy grail tips to how to prep your hair to get maximum volume. Now, once I go to style my hair, I do some more things in addition to that, but that will probably be in a different video. If you do these steps, you use these products, biggest thing is getting that aquash foam in there, those rollers drying your hair upside down. Those are my three biggest tips for getting the most volume possible on your hair. I have done this technique for years and I have found that it's the best way to get volume. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to leave me a comment below and don't forget to tap that bell, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next week.